Hello everyone, this is Salt of the Salty Guild. I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys some really awesome stuff that I found out when it comes to getting even more experience in the daily and the elite dungeons. And this is something that I found out during hot time. And even better, it has to do with fever. And it makes these fever tokens a lot better than I actually thought they were. I thought these were not so great until recently. And now, I actually am going to start saving these up. So, uh, let me just go ahead and tell you guys the, the little quick tip is you want to end up saving all of your daily dungeon and your elite dungeon tickets until the weekends, until we have one of these hot time events going on. Uh, that's because these hot time events give us a whole bunch of bonuses. The main one is this experience bonus, though. We also get extra party experience, extra items. There's a Star Force discount right now for enhancing your gear. I think tomorrow we get extra mesas. But what, for what I'm about to tell you guys, it's this extra experience boost that's really, really important. So 20% extra experience during hot time, and you know it's running if you see this little clock right here. You also want to save up as many of these experience items in your inventory as you can. I know we got a whole bunch of them lately. We've had a couple of maintenances, so we got these cotton candies, um, these orange and red experience tickets. We're getting a whole bunch of these from the event that's going on right now. You'll end up getting a lot of these. Trust me, they get sent out at our mailbox like candy. If you still have the yellow ones, by the way, that get 50% extra experience, this is going to be even better. But either way, you want to end up saving as many of these experience items as you can. Now, keep in mind that the actual maple leaves, these orange and these red ones, these ones are going to stack. So I can go ahead and use an orange one and a red one. That's going to give me an extra 40% bonus experience. I have the uh, dojo pendant on as well for 15% experience. I just bought it, so it's going to last me a full week. You want to be using the experience jewels as well. This is going to give me 7% extra experience from the jewels and then 1% from the set. And all of this is going to end up adding up to be a lot of extra experience. And yes, the answer is yes. You do get all of these experience benefits from the daily dungeons and the elite dungeons. So let me go ahead and step into one of these and show you. Make sure I've got enough time on my buff. Three minutes? Perfect. I think we've got enough time. So let's go ahead and step into an elite dungeon. And normally, or sorry, a daily dungeon, normally I only get about 1.8 million experience when it comes to these daily dungeons. But with all of these boosts, you're going to get a lot more experience. And then let me go ahead and tell you guys about those fever tokens, huh? Well, let's get to the boss first. Actually, you know what? I'm going to activate it at like 26, 27 kills because you guys are going to see that I'm going to start getting more experience. All right, 23. All right, let's go ahead and activate one of these. 30 seconds. We should be able to kill the boss 30 seconds. So notice that my experience went up. It used to be like 1,100, and now I'm getting about 1,200-ish experience. So I've got 20 seconds to kill the boss. If not, I'll just end up popping another one of those fever tickets. I forgot it actually takes a few seconds for the boss to spawn. Plus, I have to be a little bit careful, because if I'm not, this guy can actually end up killing me. All right, there we go. 3 point something million experience. So the fever buff also gives you additional experience. That includes if you end up killing the daily dungeon or the elite dungeon bosses while your fever buff is active. So that's just an extra experience bonus. So all of these experience boosts end up stacking up the hot time event, the, all the experience items in your inventory. It all ends up stacking to give you a lot of extra experience when it comes to killing the bosses in the daily dungeons and in the elite dungeons, which is why throughout the week, when it comes to doing your weekly missions, you want to be saving up these tickets. You get one ticket every single day when you clear three daily dungeons and when you clear three elite dungeons. And the good news is these tickets, they don't expire. So you don't have to worry about using these tickets right away because those are the unexpiring tickets. I have a lot of the elite dungeon ones saved up. Very happy about that because I can go ahead and get a bunch of extra experience during this hot time event now. I've still got a couple of the daily dungeon tickets, I think. Maybe I actually ran out. Maybe I don't have any more of them. But uh, definitely make sure to take advantage of the hot time event. All the experience items that you have in your inventory. If you have enough dojo points, a dojo pendant, if you want to buy that, of course, that choice is up to you. And, of course, all those jewels end up being an extra 8% experience. And another incentive to end up getting the extra experience boost from leveling up your fever. 20% extra experience. That includes extra experience when you end up killing the boss in those daily and those elite dungeons which makes these fever tokens a lot better because you could just go ahead and pop one of those right before you're about to kill a boss get some extra experience so it all ends up to giving me almost twice as much experience 
as I normally end up getting from Elite and Daily Dungeons. And considering that these only take about a minute each, that's a lot of extra free experience. So I'm hoping that this helped you out, especially if you guys are on that massive grind trying to push for level 120 or you're at the point where I'm at right now where every single level is just super painfully slow. It is such a grind that every little thing that you could do to get some extra experience is going to help that grind out quite a bit. So if you guys enjoyed this video and this tip helped out, feel free to leave a like. And of course, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for not only more videos in the future, but we are getting closer to 2,000 subscribers, which means I'll go ahead and do some more of these rare treasure box pulls with crystals, maybe get an emblem item. We did a few pulls for 1,000 subscribers, if you guys haven't seen that. And once we get to 2,000, we're at about 16, 20, 16, 30 right now. We'll go ahead and we'll do some more pulls for that 2,000 subscriber special. So that's going to be about it for this video. If you have any comments, let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I can. And that's it. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Have fun grinding. And until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild signing out.